Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, this is the Sunday uh, that we've set aside this year, this spring, to honor our graduates and uh, those members of the class of 2015 that call Edgewood Assembly of God their home and that have been actively involved over the years in this church and uh, uh, and their, their families go here, some of them as well. And this morning we just join in the celebration with them of this great milestone and achievement in life's journey. And uh, we just want to recognize them this morning, this monumental occasion to recognize hard work, dedication, determination, and achievement. And this morning we reassure them that God's hand of guidance is upon them and our support uh, will go with them into the future. Amen. Praise God. So as I call each of their names, I'm going to ask our graduates then to come forward and just join me up here on the platform. We have a nice uh, gift for each graduate, a card and a gift this morning. Our first graduate is Michael Gonzalez. Is Mike Gonzalez here this morning? I hope that he's here, okay? Anyone see Mike? Where's Brian? Brian, help me out. Is Mike here this morning? He is not able to be here. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about Mike anyway, though. And uh, so you'll know about uh, his high school career and his achievements. Uh, Michael Gonzalez, he's been a part of our church for, I don't know, probably about six or seven years. Uh, Michael graduated this year with his high school diploma from Edgewood High School. During the course of his four years in high school, Mike was involved both in extracurricular activities at Edgewood High School but also very heavily involved in activities and ministries here in our church, Edgewood Assembly of God. In his freshman year at EHS, Mike competed in the Naval SEAL Training Challenge. Man, I wouldn't even think about attempting that. I wouldn't even try it. But it's like a triathlon or an Ironman competition. Uh, this particular event was a physically grueling, emotionally and mentally demanding event that included running numerous laps on the track, numerous laps in the pool, and then just unending pull-ups on the gym bar in the gymnasium. So, and that's all within about you know, an hour's time, so that's a, a pretty grueling thing. But Mike completed that challenge, which is quite a feat in and of itself. And uh, on the more cerebral side, Mike was very actively involved in the book club as well. So he's a, a book, bookworm too. But uh, here at church, uh, he has assisted with ushering. He's participated in youth-led services where he performed Christian drama right here on this platform. He has assisted with numerous youth fundraisers and attended district-wide youth convention with our youth group. And Michael's future plans include attending Harford Community College this fall where he will be enrolled in the nursing program. So we offer congratulations to Mike Gonzalez. And when you see him, Tell him how proud you are of him and extend your congratulations to him personally. Our next graduate is Yorabana Impriam Mensa. Yorabana, here she comes. She's coming to join us as she's coming this morning. I want to tell you a little bit about Yorabana. Yorabana had the, the unique and, and I think very daunting challenge of attending school in Africa virtually her entire academic career, and then having to do her senior year only after being in Africa all those years, not only in a new school, but in a new nation where the academic program obviously is so different from what she was accustomed to her whole life. I want you to think about that for just a moment. That would be like many of us attending school here, K through 11 in America, and then transferring to a school in Africa just for our senior year, with only one year to make all the necessary adjustments of not just moving to a new school, but a new country. But she has navigated this colossal challenge, I believe, in remarkable fashion. In her senior year here at Edgewood High School, she fulfilled the requirements for election to membership in the Mualpha Theta. Is that, am I saying that right? Okay, which is the National High School and Two-Year College Mathematics Honor Society. Amen. That's great, isn't it? 
Yeah, that, that is powerful. And in addition to this distinguished honor, Yerabana fulfilled the necessary requirements to be included in the principal's honor roll for each of the grading periods in the 2014-2015 school year. And that was in recognition of her outstanding overall academic achievements. Amen. So we are so proud of her this morning, Yorabana. God bless you so much. We're so glad to have you here in our church, and uh, we just commend you for the challenges you have overcome moving to a new culture and just excelling here in your senior year at Edgewood High School. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Yes. She's deserving of that recognition this morning. Now, in addition to our two outstanding high school graduates, we have four distinguished graduates at the collegiate and degree program level this morning. And uh, our first graduate is not able to be here, and, uh, but uh, we're going to have his aunt accept uh, for him in just a few moments. But uh, one of our graduates is William Bonds, Jr., best known to most of you as Billy Bonds. He graduated from Frostburg State University uh, here on Thursday, May 21st of this year. And uh, that is up in Frostburg, Maryland. That's my old stomping grounds. Amen. That was just a few miles from where well, Lisa and I and the boys lived and pastored for uh, about 10 and a half years there. It's a beautiful campus, beautiful place. And uh, so we are so very proud of Billy Bonds Jr. And I know Roz Bonds is so very proud of him and this achievement uh, that, uh, that he has. Let me tell you a little bit about Billy Bonds. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with a special concentration in Business Management, but along with that major program and degree program, he also had two minors with that. So that, that demands a lot of extra courses and so forth academically. So he had a major and then two separate minors. One was in Small Business Entrepreneurs, and the other minor was in Marketing. And uh, Roz, do you know what his future plans are for? <laughs> well, we know he's got a great future. I'll tell you, with all that specialized training and that degree, we, uh, we know he's going to do great, I'm sure, in the business world. So we recognize Billy Bonds Jr. this morning here at Edgewood Assembly of God for earning that degree, college degree this morning. So I'm going to have my wife come down and and uh, present that to Roz, and we'll let uh, Sister Roz Bonds accept um, in his absence this morning. We appreciate that, Sister Roz. And boy, hasn't Sister Roz done such a great job with those nephews? Oh, my goodness. With all the challenges she has herself, and then for her to raise these boys and to raise such outstanding young men with such high ambitions and career goals. Uh, Raz, our hat is off to you this morning as well. We commend you for a job well done. Amen. Just helping Billy to achieve and get through four years of college. Man, what a tremendous aunt she is for those, those great boys. Praise God. God bless you, Roz, and God bless you, Billy, and please extend to him our deepest congratulations this morning, our heartiest congratulations. Our next college graduate this morning is Milola Lola Charles. Milola Lola Charles. Milola, if you would come forward at this time. And let me just say this. Malola is such a down-to-earth young lady. Uh, you don't have to learn to say Malola. If you have trouble with that, you can call her me, okay? That's a simple pronoun we can all remember. That's, that's a name even Pastor Tracy can pronounce, okay? Yeah. Pastor Tracy, I think you need to send her a thank you for that, okay? Send her a thank you note. <laughs> oh, let me tell you a little bit about Malola Charles this morning, uh, who we often call me. And uh, this morning, though, with this being graduation Sunday, it's all about you, me, okay? <laughs> all right. Me graduated from Coppin State University here in 2015 with an interdisciplinary studies major. 
She had a dual degree studying both health information management and business management and graduated with that program with that double major with a 3.5 grade point average. Amen. That is tremendous. Great. Some of her goals and aspirations is to go back to school to continue her studies and to get her master's degree in fashion merchandising and her Ph.D., in psychology, and uh, she hopes to start her own fashion design company. Uh, she enjoys styling people, reading, and traveling. And uh, so you hear that, ladies? She's hoping to start her own fashion design company. So you might want to consider in the future supporting a Christian designer. Somebody say amen. Amen. That's great. And uh, me, you can start right here with this pastor, okay, with the whole fashion thing. And, and uh, my, I, I'm hoping she does a men's line. I really, I really do. My sons have, have told me I've just, just hopelessly lost my way when it comes to fashion. So can you promise me this morning you'll do a men's line too and help me out there? Bring me into the 21st century? Amen. Just, I need somebody to kind of clean up this whole severely outdated geek nerd looking thing that I'm doing fashion wise. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what I've got going on. So I need a lot of help. You think you can clean me up? Is it? <laughs> okay. She thinks there's even hope for me. I'm glad to hear that this morning. And uh, my wife and sons, thank you. They will be eternally grateful if you can help me with my fashion faux pas, okay? Amen. So we are so proud of you, Milola, this morning, and your great achievement and all of your hard work. So we have a special gift for you this morning. Amen. I would like to say, too, it's wonderful to have her father, I believe. Is your father here this morning? Oh, okay. So your dad did have to, did he have to leave and go back? Uh, okay. So her father is back in Jamaica. We were so glad, though, that he could come home. And I know that Milola was so happy to have him come home from Jamaica to be able to see her graduate. So we're so thankful for that. Amen. But has many family members with her this morning. Amen. Our next graduate is Alfred Shutan. Alfred Shutan. Did Alfred make it this morning? Okay, I talked to him the other day. I thought for sure something must have come up, but uh, let, me, let me tell you a little bit about Alfred. It, it, it doesn't even seem possible to me that it was four years ago that Alfred stood on this very platform on graduation Sunday, and uh, we were honoring him for his high school graduation. It seems like about a year or two ago. It's been four years uh, since we had the privilege of honoring him at his high school graduation and I remember teasing him on the platform about his megawatt smile that just kind of lights up a whole city. You'll know what I mean when you see him next time. And, uh, and uh, he was, uh, I think, the fastest track star on the uh, high school team, and I think maybe in college, uh, where he graduated from Morgan State. So uh, you, if, if you're not careful, if you blink, you'll miss him, okay? He's incredibly fast. In fact, uh, legend has it, you, got, you can tell him this when you see him, legend has it that uh, Alfred can walk into his bedroom, he can flip the switch off, and he can be in bed and under the covers before the room gets dark. Now, now that's fast. That's quick. And I'm pretty sure that's true. I read it on Facebook, so it got got to be true. Every Facebook legend is true, right? Okay. But let me tell you about Alfred. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from Morgan State. He served as president of IEEE, an engineering organization. He was one of only 23 that were selected in the country, in the entire nation, to participate in the Nestle's Leadership Symposium. He was one of only 200 selected to participate in MLT, also a national leadership program. He recently interned with Citigroup on Wall Street, and now he just accepted a position, a job offer, uh, and he will be relocating to Atlanta, Georgia this summer, working full-time at IBM in Atlanta, doing consulting. That's pretty impressive. Now, do we have any member of his family here this morning? 
Is there a member of the Shu Tan family? Is Charlene? I don't know if she's here this morning. Just thought there might be someone that could accept for him. But uh, we will make sure Alfred receives his gift. And, and uh, so we are so proud of this young man, just an outstanding young man. And we have a final graduate this morning on the collegiate level as well, Brianna Stanley. And I'm going to ask Pastor Tracy Stanley to come and represent her this morning. This is his granddaughter. And I know he's so very, very proud of her. Brianna, of course, cannot be here this morning. She is still stationed in the state of California. Brianna graduated from the U.S. Army, uh, the Presidio of Monterey, California campus there, school. And that is the home of the Defense Language Institute for Foreign Language Center. That's D-L-I-F-L-C, right? And uh, there she studied the Farsi language. That's a language spoken in Iran or Iran, however you pronounce that, and also parts of Afghanistan. And it took one and a half years to complete that program because those, that's a very difficult language to learn to speak and understand. And this is an accredited institution with 66 years of experience in foreign language education. Students who attend this world-renowned school, and you have to be very, very bright to be able to get into this school and program in the military, but those who attend this world-renowned school for foreign language can receive an Associate of Arts degree in their foreign language after satisfying graduation requirements and the transfer of 15 units in non-language related subjects from other accredited institutions. But uh, what she has done in this period of time is really college equivalent because it is so difficult and so challenging. So Pastor Tracy, we are so proud of your granddaughter and uh, we want to honor Brianna Stanley today. And did you want to say something? Uh, Brianna, she's in security. So she can't share much of GSO, not only her language, but she's in security, taking training in security, and uh, she can't share what she's doing. She's going on to four more years in Texas uh, in her field that she'll be using Farsi, and, but she's in security, so she couldn't write a whole lot because it's all secret, so. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pastor Tracy, and we want to present that Sure, to you, you on behalf of Brianna, and please let Brianna know that we recognized her this morning and her achievements and that we are so very, very proud of her. And uh, I'm going to ask Brian Cox at this time, and I'm going to ask you all to stay right here, and Pastor Tracy, you as well, and I'm going to ask Brother Brian Cox uh, this morning, who is uh, our student ministries leader here at Edgewood Assembly of God, student ministries director, and he's going to come and pray God's blessing and guidance and wisdom and favor on all of these graduates this morning. And I just want to say, just before he prays to each of our graduates this morning, I want to say in recognition of your achievement and in celebration of your successful uh, journey thus far and in prayerful expectation of your future, we encourage you to seek the Lord's wisdom and to seek the Lord's guidance and allow Him to continue to guide your every step going forward. I want to give you this promise from God's word this morning from Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Amen. Amen. Brian, would you come at this time and just uh, lead us in prayer? And I would ask that uh, we would all stand, those that are able to stand. If you're not able, we understand. But if you can stand uh, and just maybe reach forth your hand, just symbolically reaching forth your hand toward them, uh, asking God to bless their future and God to be with them. And uh, Brother Brian, if you would lead us in prayer at this time. Glory to God. Our Father God, we just, we just come before you. We thank you. We thank you for the wisdom and the knowledge. We thank you for giving us all the capability of growing and learning. And Father God, right now, I just want to ask that you would drop a fresh anointing on each and every one of these students, that as they go out into the world to pursue careers, that they would have you right beside them, walking with them. And as your word says, that we would not lean on the wisdom of men, but on the word of God, 
that we would not have faith in the wisdom of men, but the word of God. We do thank you for the abilities and the things that these students have learned, but we thank you more so for their faith, for their walk with you, God. And that as they go out into this world, that they will pursue the careers and pursue the careers that you have set before them, but they would walk with you, walk solid with you. And Father, we just ask that you would surround them, put your loving arms around them, show them, comfort them. Sometimes this can be a scary step, walking out into the world, getting into new careers and pursuing new paths in life. But we know that you surround them, you are right there with them, and that you will lead them and guide them, and that the path before them is set by you, God. And Father, I would just ask that your heart for the lost would be embedded in them as they go into the communities and into the world, and they would pursue reaching the lost. Father, that they would pursue ministry as they pursue the careers that you've set before them. And that they would never let the knowledge that they have become stronger than the faith that they have. Father God, we just ask that you would just surround them, put a fresh anointing on them, and just promise them, that show them that you will never let them go. In your heavenly name, amen.